Hello, this is Michelle Knight. And this is the astrological update for Gemini for the whole of the Christmas period. And that's from Christmas Eve until the 2nd of January. And this is an incredibly intense time for you. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be deep. It's going to be profound. And that's because we've got Venus, the planet of love, going into the ninth house, which is all about expansion and wanting an adventure and opening up yourself to the awareness of your relationship. But then we've got a new moon, which is all about transformation, instant change, and like a new beginning. And that is conjunct Pluto, the lord of the underworld. And it's in your eighth house. That's all about secrets, going deep within, exploring the shadow. It could mean that there's some kind of jealousy or some kind of intensity or some kind of awareness about issues of control even in a relationship or a sudden desire or discovery of something that is just coming up from underneath the unconscious and underneath the surface of your life. The truth or something really intense is arriving. Now, the good news is that this is trining Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, in your 12th house. So Jupiter is saying to you, do you know what? I'm going to support you in this. And what it's going to lead to is your spiritual enlightenment, the evolution of your soul, the next step forward for you. So whatever comes up for you, and also we, as we go on into the week, we've got the sun conjuncting Pluto, as well so it's like in the eighth house so it's like oh my goodness this is a wild ride this is very full-on this is intense maybe your own hidden desires are rising to the surface and you're going to have to confront them in some way and what is really interesting is also the other thing that i noticed i mean i'm loving yours because it's like a whole story to me it's all there so you must let me know in the comments section whether this is happening for you and please do forward this to any gemini's you know because it's like really fascinating it's also squaring uranus the planet of the unpredictable in the 11th house of friendship. So interestingly, whatever is coming up, this intense relationship stuff for you, or this, you know, this hidden desire or obsession or whatever's going on, the, a, a friend may react in a way that you're not expecting. So that, that could be either good or bad, but it's um, likely to be challenging because it's an unexpected square to Uranus. So you're like, why is my friend re reacting like that? But again, Hang on to the fact that Jupiter, which is the planet of good fortune, so i.e. whatever goes on in these next two weeks is for your greater good and also for your spiritual growth, it is supporting you and pushing you through this. It's the ideal time for you to deal with what, whether it's a desire or an obsession in, in, within you or an imbalance or power struggle in a relationship. You're ready to deal with it once and for all. Now, interestingly, we've got Mercury, the planet of communication, in your seventh house. So you're going, okay, I have to talk about my relationships, my relationship to other people. And I personally would recommend you look at your relationship to yourself, how honest you are about your desires, but all this stuff's coming up for you. And interestingly, even more interestingly, it's squaring um, the fourth house. God, it's lots to remember, you know, the fourth house, Mars in the fourth house. So you're like, hmm. Maybe in the past I've compromised myself in relationships for security. Maybe security meant a lot to me. And now there's something in you going, do you know what? I'd rather have honesty. I'd rather go after my desires. I'd rather shine a light and have the spiritual evolution of the kind of relationship I want. So in a nutshell, it's a deeply profound two weeks. But you've got to understand, ultimately, it's fabulous news because Jupiter is going, yeah, baby, I'm cheering you on to really look into your shadow side, to really look deep within yourself, to explore issues of obsession and jealousy and intensity and desire and, and enlighten it with that Jupiter in the 12th house. So there you go. Let me know what happens. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. When I played that back, Gemini, I realised that I was exposing something that I like to keep hidden. So it was very relevant. Not that I've got any Gemini in my chart. However, do you want to see a little bit more? Okay, here you go. Ta da! Don't tell anyone, it's just between me and you. Take care, have a fabulous Christmas. <laughs>